All right, Terrifics, now that was really amazing. My head in a video game, I got to play as myself. Wow, when I was a kid, I dreamed of that, and now it's happening, it's a reality. Well, here's some more stuff from Intel that is becoming a reality. Molly's joining us, thank you so much. Yes, hi, thank you. Uh, the Terrifics are wonderful. They love Intel so much, and they make Be Terrific special, that's why we do this. And so I just wanted to say that to them. They can reach us at Be Terrific TV on all social media. And I'm really excited about what you have here because I think this is a really, really exciting new technology that has so much potential in all sorts of industries and is starting out in sports and athletics. Can you walk us through these glasses that have a heads-up display, HUD? Yes, absolutely. So Intel's all about enhancing the experience that we're already having. So take riding a bike or running, something we do all the time, and they're doing this without having to disrupt your activity. So you wear these glasses and they have a heads up display in them. To glance down, you can see all of your data and metrics from um, your run or your, or your bike ride. So your cadence, your speed, your distance, your GPS. And you can also get your message notifications. So your text messages will come across, a phone call will come across. It does video, it records video and takes pictures. It also does your GPS and your maps. And uh, it also loads your music, so you can control your music right there with just swiping your, your hands. Very cool. I think eventually it'd be so good for so many different applications. Imagining, you know, you have to do a plumbing thing in your house or something, and you need instructions, or somebody is showing you what to do in a video. I think for me, hosting and being able to see show notes or questions from the viewers or whatever else, maybe information and research on you, a producer could send to me and I could then say, hey Molly, uh, you're from, where are you from by the way? I'm from Florida. You're from Florida. Yeah. And uh, what was it like growing up in Florida? I could ask a question about that. Where in Florida, by the way? Dustin. Where's that? I'm, I'm from- The Panhandle. The Panhandle? Wow, I was born in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, awesome. So anyway. No, no, <laughs> nobody knows, well it's like, it's like, you know, New Jersey's considered the armpit of America. The panhandle might be the armpit of Florida. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Lower Alabama, so yeah. we call it. <laughs> Lower Alabama. It's kind of like, um, I mean, it's close to Jacksonville. It's not far, right? Yeah, about four hours. Yeah. Everything's four hours in Florida. How far is it to Disney World? Four hours from wherever you are. Yes, absolutely. All right. So uh, give, me a, give me a tour of these things. Yeah, so these are the Recon Jet. Recon is a company that Intel acquired been around for a few years. We acquired them last year, I believe. Um, and they have a jet and a snow. So these are the jet for biking, cycling, and running. And the snow is for skiing and snowboarding. So we actually saw an earlier version from them at CE Week in 2015. Okay. Uh, and, and I think that this is a much more advanced version. Uh, and I'm excited about it. So can I try them on? Yes, absolutely. So you can take a look at them. And I, I imagine you can get prescription version. Is that true? Uh, not that we're showing today, but I, I definitely think it's something that's coming if it's not already there. Um, so there's a... Here, I'll take this back for me, yeah. So there's a mouse on the side of the, uh, the glasses here that you can just swipe with the sensor, and there's a select button underneath. So you can just do everything with a swipe of a hand. And is it possible to adjust this for different faces, or is it always sit here? It's all one that I know of right now, yes. So I'll put it down a little bit so I can see it better. And then I swipe like this? Yep, there's a little sensor right here. Swipe. Oh, okay, and then, and then there's a mouse. Yep, underneath. Oh, underneath. No notifications. That's disappointing. I was hoping to get a text message. <laughs> well, we're in this big building here. We're not gonna. All right, let's try some some cycling stuff. All right. So let's go. The back button's here. It's hard because I'm not seeing what he's seeing here. So is it going back? So okay, new activity. Are you there now? So then I'm gonna select it. Do you see the cadence? Cycling. Yep. Uh, so we'll select that. Now if I was on the bike over here, which you might want to step over there when we're done to kind of get some. some oh, I can I can cycle. And you can cycle and it'll give you that data right there. Wow, it's pretty cool. I can know how many kilometers an hour. It's actually nice because. Uh, you know, I tried the Google Glass and I didn't love it. This is, as silly as this sounds, it's unobtrusive. Um, and that's what you want out of a heads-up display. What I like about the new heads-up displays in cars is they put the information out in front of the, on the road, basically, instead of the old ones that put it, like, right on the hood. And then you were taking your eyes completely off the road. It's the same thing here. This is out in front of you. So you just glance down, see it, and then you can put your eyes back on the road. But they never really go off the road, which is very important in cycling. Or snowboarding or skiing. 
exactly. Very safe, yeah. safe. And safe. I didn't touch on the snowboarding and skiing goggles, but what I love about them is they have trail maps in them. So if you're at Whistler or Breckenridge or something like that, they're all built in there. So if my buddy is wearing them or he's connected on GPS as well, I can see where he's at on the trail just by looking at this. If I have a GoPro attached to my helmet, I can control that with my... Really? Can you see the video of the... Uh Yes, yeah, so everything can connect. Wow, I like that. So you could have the GoPro behind you, and it's like a rearview mirror. Yes, very cool. You can see where your friends are because they're always behind you. You're always the best skier, right? Right, right, of course. Of course. <laughs> I like this a lot. All right, let's go try the bike. All right, so I've made it over to the bicycle, and I feel like Pee-wee on Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Wearing the suit and riding the bike, but it's a lot of fun. Molly, uh, I think this is a zero-speed bike, by the way. <laughs> I don't think we have the uh, resistance up, so it's an easy ride. What's nice is I can see that I'm doing 8 kilometers an hour or 0.8. I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff out here, but I can see it in the heads-up display, and you can see it on the screen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, a lot of fun, by the way. I'm, I like the information you yeah, it's really cool. So now picture if you're in, in the deep ride and you get a text message, you can just see it come across your screen. Or uh, you want to take a photo of your, you know, some pretty greenery or something if you're on the road, you can snap it right there, real time. I love it. This is very cool stuff. And it's available now. Yeah, available now in the U.S. It's $4.99. Molly, thank you so much. I really welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You are the Terrifics. You make me terrific special. Stay tuned to a lot more of our continuing coverage here at CES Asia 2016 here in Shanghai, China. I'm Michael Arts. It's at Terrific TV on all social media. Thanks for watching. Stay with us. This has been your tour of the Intel booth. Pretty amazing. Got to thank Philip and Molly. We'll be back right after this.